right through this journey, you know, I think all of us see only the best, right? In terms of the fact that you're today a CEO, but share, you know, with the audience, some tough times of self-doubt, times when you did not succeed, times when uh, things were not hunky-dory and you, all, you know, question your own self. Maybe that's something of a learning for people. So I think uh, uh, most uh, people on this call, uh, my journey would not have been much uh, different uh, because there is a lot of failures and a few successes in our life, right? Uh, we tend to believe um, the successes to be more permanent, at least in our mind. But our life is full of various things. And if we are not failing enough or if we are not challenged enough, we are not in an area where we are growing as individuals. So I would say I had my, I had my fair share of uh, failures and challenges. Uh, to begin with, I would, again, if I have to go in sort of chronological order and think about some, some big, uh, big uh, failures on the way, I would say uh, coming out at 15 years of age in a time when you know, we were not a WhatsApp call away. Those were the times of uh, coin STD booths, leaving home at that age, um, uh, where you can't sort of um, regularly speak to your parents or get some emotional support. And coming into Delhi was um, a pretty challenging time for me in the first few years. Um, during that time, I had some prolonged illness, uh, I think around my 12th grade, and uh, it it, it took me a, um, an extra year sort of in between my 12th grade to starting my education because I had a couple of surgeries. I had some infection in my uh, jawbone, a very odd thing, but it did impact uh, me a lot. And at all those times, those failures look um, pretty big uh, or those challenges look pretty big, but you sort of um, get along. And, and as you keep working and you realize that there are so many things. Uh, I, I remember when I took my first job as a as a loan sales, frontline salesperson selling loans, uh, I couldn't sell anything for the first two months. Uh, it's it's just that it was the first job. You, you didn't know how to do direct selling so well. And once after a few months, you knew the trick, you could sell very easily and it all looked so simple. But those 60 days when every day you will start cold calling, you will go and meet people, you will cold call from the directory and you can't still get a sale. Um, it does, uh, you know, that rejection does take a toll um, at that point of time. Of course, 2008, wherever anybody was working was a challenging year in spite of whatever you did. The financial uh, crisis sort of outdid you so they could, could create challenges. And then I would say that moving out to a new country in a new role in a different cultural environment um, and uh, the bank I was working with was a professional run in HDFC Bank. But when I joined um, the bank in Vietnam, it was a promoter run. So even understanding that sort of um, uh, your job is not just to execute a good strategy, but you have to spend a lot of effort convincing people and it may take a lot of time and it may look like you are failing for a very long period of time. Um, those, those would be sort of um, some of the, the key challenges. Um, a number of them I, I, I did face during my career.